When Church of God delegates left the 1915 General Assembly, they had made a momentous decision. In order to better reach a multicultural harvest, they determined to appoint a black man as an overseer of black churches. General Overseer A.J. Tomlinson chose Edmund S. Barr, a Bahamian whom he had ordained three years earlier. As a result of this decision, the number of black churches quickly increased from 7 to 13, and the number of members from 111 to 200. Regrettably, few historical documents remain of the work that Edmund Barr and his wife Rebecca did for the Lord. Today, a century later, we are blessed to have Dr. Wallace Sibley as Assistant General Overseer. It is critical that we make an effort now to preserve documents related to Dr. Sibley's ministry as well as those of other ministers of African descent. On October 27, the Dixon Pentecostal Research Center, with the support of the Office of Multicultural Ministries, will expand our efforts to recover the legacy of black churches and ministers throughout the history of the Church of God. Dr. Estrella Alexander will present the 10th Annual Azusa Lecture. An ordained Church of God minister, Dr. Alexander is president of William Seymour College in Bowie, Maryland, and a recognized scholar of black Pentecostalism. Among her books are Black Fire, 100 Years of African American Pentecostalism, and The Women of Azusa Street. Following her lecture, the Dixon Pentecostal Research Center will present the Spirit of Azusa Award to Dr. Wallace Sibley. This annual award is given to a person who represents the work that God did at the Azusa Street Revival in 1906. Like William Seymour, Dr. Sibley has preached the Pentecostal message, been a beacon of racial reconciliation, and led with distinction. The evening will conclude with a reception in Dr. Sibley's honor. Join us on October 27th to hear an inspiring lecture and to honor Dr. Wallace Sibley. But don't wait until then to become involved in preserving the legacy of black ministries in the Church of God. Perhaps you have a document or a photograph you can donate. And your financial gift now will enable us to honor Dr. Sibley and to strategically collect and preserve our multicultural heritage. Plan now to attend. Commit now to sustain this vital work with your financial gift.